Eric, how'd you feel the workout went today, and how's the process going for you? Um, workout went well. You know, had a good group in, uh, a lot of energy. You know, just came in, and just worked hard, and uh, I think the process is, is going pretty well. You know, I'm enjoying it. Um, you know, obviously there's a lot of traveling, but it's how many people get to travel all these cities and and, and do what we're doing. So you know, it's exciting and it's fun, and um, that's what you gotta you gotta have fun with. It. Do the workouts, uh, I mean, do they kind of blend together after a while, or are they really different from one another? Um, th there's always some similarities, you know, teams, you know, everyone is more similar than different, I think, and, you know, every, every team has their own, you know, things they do, there's certain, there's certain ways about things, but uh, you know, I think, you know, most of them are, are pretty similar, you know, in terms of, you know, you play, do some skill stuff, and, you know, you compete against other guys, and they want to see, you know, that, that aspect of it, but also, you know, they want to see your skill set as well. How physically taxing is it? I mean, I ask that as you're wearing a bag of ice on <laughs> your shoulder, but I, how, how punishing are the workouts? Um, I mean, they're, they're, they're not overly punishing, you know. Usually they're about an hour. Um, you know, teams, they want to see, you know, I think how hard you compete and then you know, obviously your skill set. And uh, But I don't think they're tr I think they understand how the month is and, you know, all the, we're all traveling around, so I don't think they try to necessarily kill you. But, uh, you know, they definitely want to put you through a workout, so. Um, you know, I think they're they're pretty they're physically taxing, but they're not you know they're not to the point where you know they're they're burying you every workout and you're going to the next one and you're completely dead. So you know, I think they have a good understanding of it. You seem to have a real comfortable range as a face up shooter. Do you, you kind of describe yourself as a stretch four? Uh yeah. You know that's that's what I, I like to shoot the ball. That's my I think my biggest strength in my game obviously is, is my ability to shoot. And um, you know I think with size you know I can do that. And and you know I, I play I understand the game. I play with a high IQ and. Um, I think that's that's where I would describe myself as definitely stretch four. Now your dad played in the league, so maybe walking into an NBA facility and wearing NBA gear maybe isn't as uh, awe-inspiring for you as it is for some. Does it still feel kind of weird? No, it's still pretty. It's still pretty uh, pretty cool. Um, you know, I was, he played. That was a long time ago, and I was young. I, actually, I wasn't even born when he was in the NBA. I was born when he was playing overseas. So he was done in the NBA by the time I was born. So I never really got to experience it too much. Um, but you know, I, like, like I said, it's still it's still awesome to just come in here, all these places, you know, you know put on this, this gear and come out here and work out in these facilities. And you're a guy that really probably, you know, when you talk about guys projected in the second round and whatnot, uh, that have the most to gain from workouts, because we know that going into draft day, sometimes uh, a last impression of a player is what carries over into draft day. So you can really improve your stock in these final weeks. Uh, yeah, you know, just I want to, you know, just go into these workouts and, and go as hard as I can and compete as hard as I can and, uh, you know, try to shoot the ball well and just showcase what I can do. Eric, thanks for the time and good luck to you the rest of the way. Thank you.